another fantastic video. My name is Eli, and if you guys love everything Batman and everything related to Batman, consider subscribing because today we are unboxing the new Batman Adventures Roxy Rocket. I got it right. I got it right. So, without any further ado, let's unbox it. <laughs> there we go, we have everything out of the box now. Um, we have, and my favorite thing, is the other things you can collect. Oh yeah, uh, put that on my uh, dream board. <laughs> but there you go, everything is out of the box. Um, before we take a closer look, let me give you a brief history of Roxy Rocket. Here we go. Roxy Rocket made her first appearance in the Batman Adventures Annual Number 1, then was adapted for television in the new Batman Adventures in the episode The Ultimate Thrill, and has made other appearances in the DCAU and in the pages of DC Comics. Created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm and voiced by Charity James, Roxy has no uh, powers, but she has an arsenal of skills that gave Batman a challenge. She has displayed an exceptional skill in acrobatics and stunts due to her former employment as a stunt double. She has a skill in flying her trademark rocket named the Rocket Speeder and has enough knowledge in mechanics to be able to repair it, making Roxy the perfect female adversary for Batman. That's just a basic overview of Roxy Rocket. I could go into specifics, what comics she was in and cameos she's made, but that would take all day and we don't have time for that. But I highly recommend checking out the episode Ultimate Thrill. All right, now back to the unboxing. Okay, now it's time to take a look at this wonderful a uh, DC Collectibles action figure of Roxy Rocket. Wow. Um, this looks exactly like it's straight from the uh, TV series. Like, they have every single detail. Uh, when I, I will explain. When I did um, take it out of the box, I don't know if I did it, but it came unglued, this handlebar gear shift thing for the rocket, which all I need to do is just take a little super glue and it will glue back in, which is an easy fix. It's not a big complaint at all. I'm just warning you guys. Uh, so you can place uh, batteries in here. I don't have batteries. So in my next video, uh, I will show you guys that the rocket back here lights up, but all you do is twist it right here and it turns on, um, which is very, very cool. Now uh, let's take a look at Roxy and all the accessories that she comes with. As you can see, <laughs> there it goes. Um, very, very cool. Um, she has great detail in the face, as you can see. Um, looks really, really good. The nose. Goggles. Um, what I found really cool is that her um, holster right here is rubber, so when she bends her leg, um, it bends too, which is I thought was really cool. Um, she seems to have a 21 point articulation. I could be wrong. Let's count two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 6, 8, 10, 11. Does the waist, yep, 11. The head does not move that much because of her hair. I think it can move. It just doesn't move very, very much. Um, the belt moves quite a bit. You just have to snug it on her hips like so. But um, yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, twelve point articulation. No, I'm totally messing this up. Fourteen point articulation, six inch Six inch, oh man, I was gonna measure it. Okay, hold on. Okay, but Roxy stands at, can't even see it, hold on. Five and a half inches. 
So she stands at five and a half inches, uh, not exactly six inch scale. The arms articulate, the wrists come out, um, the legs, everything. So you can so she can sit. Oh, that's this side doesn't want, there it goes. There we go. As you can see. So she can sit. I recommend having her displayed on the rocket because she doesn't really do. There we go. Boom. Uh, but she does come. Nope, there she goes. She does come with a uh, wrench. Comes with a wrench. She comes with two sets of gripping hands. So she can grip stuff. And another grip hand and an open hand. Uh, I think that's a mistake. I think there's supposed to be two open hands. Oh boy. Not three grip hands. Uh, she comes with a laser, a little laser. There we go. And this is really cool. This is just like uh, she's, she calls Batman with this. I don't know what you call it. Bat signal rocket launcher? I got no clue. There it is. No clue what this is, but it does come out. Comes in. And it comes out, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Is it? Oh, there we go. So pretty, pretty cool. Darn! I don't know what to do. Three hands, three grip hands. She has already has two fists, but yeah, you know, the so the elbows move, the wrists move. The legs, the foot, it twists at the boot, um, twists at the hips. Looks really, really quite good. Da! There we go. And then she comes with the stand, of course, and the instructions on how to put the stand together. I like a shoe. So uh, that's everything she comes with. Uh, pretty dang cool, if you ask me. This is a great collectible if you have something in your collection, especially if you have the Bat Cycle. Goes great with that, and uh, all the other vehicles of the animated series. This is the only vehicle that a villain has. Uh, they did temporarily make a Joker car, but that was only temporary, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Not many of those were made. But this is, this is cool. It's gonna go great in the case, on the shelf. Definitely, definitely, definitely cool. Oh, the collection is growing. Oh boy. <laughs> nope. Okay, well, this is Roxy Rocket. Um, what I do not like about her is that it is extremely hard to, uh, get her hands on the handlebars and have her uh, touch the seat. It's really hard to get, yeah, there's no, it's, I've spent probably a good five, seven minutes trying to get her hands. There's just, there's just no way. Well, with the bat cycle, there is a way um, to do it. But yeah, this is, this is not, not great, um, but uh, it's sad too. I mean, I wish, I wish uh, they would have, I feel like they didn't take, they just added, added it to the line, um, which is never good. I think they should have taken more consideration. I mean, eh, no, 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 no. And that's like her main feature is sitting on the rocket, you know, that's her main, that's, we see her in the, like most of the episodes, probably 75% of the episode, she's sitting on the rocket, chasing, um, getting away from Batman, chasing Batman, etc. But um, overall, the aesthetics of it, it looks really pleasing to the eye. 
Um, it goes great with the rest of the collection, so I highly recommend if you're going to collect all of them. If you're not going to collect all of them, um, do not put this one on your list. But if you're going to collect all of them, then um, it's a must-have, and I believe it's worth it. I think it's worth it to uh, have it in the collection, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, let's let's get everything out on the table so you can all see what it looks like. Okay. Well, Bat fans, we have come to the end of another fantastic episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and all your support on my other videos. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down or do the opposite. It's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, this is the whole collection so far. Holy cow, I'm going to have to get in a bigger table. This is, this is growing uh, quite a bit. Um, we have the Batmobile, Batcycle, Bat... <laughs> we have the Batmobile, Batcycle, Batplane, Batsignal, Batman, Robin, and Roxy Rocket. Yes! Fantastic! It was awesome opening this up for you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, it's... I'm either going to unbox Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, or Bane. So, stay tuned for that. That's going to be really fun. And it will, the collection's just gonna keep growing. I'm gonna, until I collect it all. If you've been following along with the uh, project, um, what I am going to do is in the episode of the Grey Ghost, Batman shows the Grey Ghost that it wasn't all for nothing and he's collected all the Grey Ghost memorabilia uh, from his childhood. And that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's really, really cool. And I'm going to collect um, all uh, this whole entire toy line. And I'm going to make a display just like in that episode in the Batcave. Um, and it's going to be really, really, really awesome uh, once it's done. I'm, I, can't, I can't wait to uh, see the whole display. Um, plus, it's just fun to do. It's fun to do. I love it. Um, with that advice, do what you love. Um, if you guys want to keep on supporting me, check out my uh, Facebook or uh, my Instagram, follow me there. And also, I have a Patreon page for everybody who wants exclusive content, such as my Batman uh, utility belt uh, patterns to make your own awesome Batman utility belt. You guys can check that out there on my Patreon. Become a Patreon member. Okay, well, that does it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see everybody in the next video. All right, see you guys, bye. It's, it's too small under here. What the heck, I'm gonna break something.